Welcome back to Transportation. This is the 2023 Chevrolet Colorado two-wheel drive work truck. It's got that 2.7 liter turbo four cylinder. It has a lot of power. This thing has some surprisingly great technology at this price point, but let's figure out if the work truck is gonna be your Chevy Colorado that you will buy for your mid-sized truck. The 2023 Chevrolet Colorado work truck has a really cool design. I really like the rugged, blacked out front end on here and it's very, it looks very much like a work truck. I think it's a really, really nice design. They didn't make it look cheap, but rather I think they made it look more rugged. This is kind of like a rubberized kind of plastic on the front here. I really like how they kind of made these fake texture bits on the front. This is clearly where some other kind of light would go on a higher trim level, but for this case, they did a really great job dressing it up and I think it looks really cool. We have full halogens on the front, no LEDs at this price point, but if you upgrade to one of the higher trim levels, such as maybe the LT or the Trail Boss, you will get some higher end lighting over there. Here we have 17 inch steel wheels. I absolutely love the look of steel wheels on these cars. I really think that the design trait is making a comeback, especially with these newer work trucks, and especially since it's affordable. I think that the base level models of these kind of look rugged in their own cool way. Here, we have blacked out mirror caps. It's obviously that matte black plastic. Again, I think that it's quintessential for a work truck. We have chromed out Colorado badging. Personally, I would have had this matte black as well, but we'll have to make do. I think that the rest of it looks really, really cool. I really like this like rugged bit on the front end right here, how this has like really squared off edges. I really like how this fender has that accent going around it. I like the extra line that they added there. I like how this is kind of squared off here, making that front end seem like bulbous, kind of like on one of the heavy duty pickup trucks that they make, like the Silverado that I'm looking at right over here. And of course, I really like the way they did these hood lines on the front end working their way up. And I think that that looks really rugged. A lot of people want that rugged look in a pickup truck, so I think they absolutely nailed it with this. Down here, we have no keyless entry, but we do have a keyless remote, which is awesome. And of course we have a little keyhole here, keeping it nice and old school. A lot of people don't like new technology. So I think that this is really gonna be suitable for a lot of people looking for a new vehicle. And of course we have the same thing going on in the back door. Again, I love the plastic, the black plastic door handles. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic. It feels like it's gonna last a quite a decent amount of time in my opinion. Back here, we have a really cool shape of the fuel filler cap. I like how, going back to this line over here, I like how this line, it kind of starts down here and it kind of works its way up and makes its way down here and then ends in the fuel filler cap. And I really like how it's kind of, the fuel filler cap kind of encompasses part of that design, meaning that they had to individually design it for this vehicle. Of course, I really like the way they did the window design compared to the last generation. They kept the little kink up for that little styling element that's on the Silverado. I really like that. That was kind of carried over from the last generation, but I really like how they overall made it look a lot boxier but also not overly boxy. They made it kind of look nice. And I really like the way they blended the design all together. Of course, we have the five and a half foot bed back here. One thing I really like about this bed though, is the fact that not only does it have this really cool boxy fender again, you can actually kind of look down the truck and you can kind of see that it extends out a little bit. It kind of looks like a pre-runner almost. It's kind of like a wide body kind of feel, but it does have this nice little sidestep so you can climb on to the side of your bed and get something out, which is really nice. Now, the tailgate area of the truck is actually really nice. You only have a crew cab with a five and a half foot bed currently available on the new generation of Chevrolet Colorado, but hopefully a longer six foot bed will be available soon. Here, we have a little backup camera next to the tailgate handle. This is pretty easy to pull down. It takes almost no effort. And they, I even really like how they put these little cup rings in here. And what's also really nice is they added this little tape measure thing right here. It'll basically tell you how many inches wide you have for the opening of your bed. A lot of people want to measure the size of their bed before they get in and start putting stuff in, but we do have a nice little tape measure and I really appreciate that. Of course, the bed has a nice bed liner inside of it and it's even got some tether points to hold your items in place. And of course, we have the all important tablet. Looking down here, we obviously have a tow hitch and we even have two different towing plug standards, meaning you can connect basically any kind of trailer to your Chevy Colorado. But that's it for the exterior. 
let's go ahead and check out. The interior of the Chevrolet Colorado is surprisingly jam-packed for the price point. Even though it's a work truck, they still give you an eight inch digital information center, which is fully customizable as well. You just press this little button in the bottom right hand corner of your steering wheel, and you can basically change between three different modes to give you different information. I also really like the steering wheel controls. They're relatively basic at this price point. There's a lot of blanks on here, but the buttons that do work give you sources like being able to pick your music, change the volume, and of course change the radio station as per every GM product. The only thing that's annoying about this steering wheel is that it does not telescope at this price point. You will have to upgrade to get the nicer steering wheel, but the telescoping position that they put it at is not terrible at all. That is not even a complaint. Over here, I really like these rotary air vents and you can open them and close them pretty easily. And they even have a little bit of adjustment to them, which is really nice as well. I also really like the blacked out door handles. And I know that's because it's the cheaper work truck trim, but they actually feel really nice. And I think it matches the interior quite well. I like how everything in this car is blacked out. It's got some little textury bits down here. It's got a lot of like cheaper, harder plastics scattered throughout the interior, but that's to be expected at this price point here. You got your little dial to adjust the interior cabin lighting. And then of course you got some towing modes over here. Since this is two wheel drive, there's obviously gonna be no four wheel high or low here, but you can get four wheel drive as an option. Working our way toward the right side here, I really like the location of this volume dial. It feels really high end as well. It feels like one of those aftermarket stereos that you would buy that have those really nice volume dials. And it's of course got a power button right in the middle to turn on and off the head unit. Looking at the head unit, this is an insane head unit for a work truck. 11.3 inches of that Chevrolet infotainment system. It's gonna get you that Bluetooth, the XM, FM. As a matter of fact, let's look at all the modes here. We have AM, FM, XM, Bluetooth, Google built-in, USB, and of course we have wireless and wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on the base trim. Does the Silverado even have an 11.3 inch screen? I don't think it does right now. So that's why this one is the better work truck to go for at $34,000. Down here we have single zone manual climate control. It looks brand new. It looks just like the super high end dual zone climate control you get on the higher end Colorado, but it's super easy to turn from low to high and it's super easy to go full blast or turn it off entirely. And then I really like the, how you can direct the air to wherever you want just by hitting these simple little buttons. It's extremely easy to use when you're on the fly. And again, I love that they're physical. One thing that isn't physical, however, is the headlight controls. You have to press this little tiny bulb icon up here, and it gives you the option to turn it, the headlights off, put them in auto, and then turn on a few other different kinds of lights like driving lights and then full headlights. That part is a little annoying, but that's not something you're gonna be messing with all that much. So that's a minor thing that I'm willing to accept. I think that that's totally fine. It wouldn't stop me from buying this vehicle. Down here, we have more air vents that you can close by shifting them all the way to the right and this one all the way toward the center. And then down here, I really like these little selection of buttons here. You have your tow mode, you have the automatic start stop off, which does stay off every single time you start the car, which is good news. Here you got your hazards, you got your lane keep assist, which you can enable and disable easily just by pressing that. And you even have an auxiliary button so you can hook up some other electronic to the vehicle if you so choose. Down here we have USB-C and USB-A, giving everybody the choice for what USB standard they wanna use. Down here we got this really interesting like textured area. This is presumably where you would put your smartphone. So for example, if I wanna put it here, I'm assuming that the higher end models have some kind of wireless charging. I think that that would be really cool if there was some way you could add that on to the base model as well. Over here, we have like a little bit of a square design thing. My assumption is that was where the key is supposed to go. But it's kind of like, it is kind of an interesting little plastic thing. It does feel kind of nice. Over here, you have the shifter for your eight speed automatic. Of course, it's got that Tiptronic shift mode. Here you have your electromechanical parking brake. Over here is a really well done cup holder design. Not only is it out of the way of all your electronics, but it also has a phone holder wide enough to fit a phablet size smartphone. In other words, something that's like over five inches. Over here, we have a nice center console. It's actually a decent size. They give you a nice little tray and there's even more space underneath. This is kind of acting as a false floor and it even gives you nice little carpeting, which I really appreciate. At this space, you're not gonna be getting power seats. You're just not, not even memory seats. Don't just forget about it. But what you are looking at is you're looking at six-way manual driver's seat 
and you're looking at a four-way manual passenger seat. And honestly, that's plenty of adjustment for the price point that this truck is at. And especially given that this thing has 310 horsepower, I don't think anybody's gonna be complaining about that. Down here, the glove box is actually a really, really nice size given that this is a smaller truck. Over here, you have one touchdown for all four windows, but you do have to pull every single one up. I do kind of wish it was one touch up as well, but not a big deal. Over here, we got some sun visors. These unfortunately have no, no lights, nor do they extend, but honestly, it's, it's not a big deal. It really isn't. You're really paying for something that's gonna be base level here. You're getting the great technology, you're getting the great power. This is something that honestly doesn't matter here because you do get that OnStar and you even get halogen dome lights, which like I've said before, are great if you wanna replace the bulbs later on. Here you got your adjustable mirror. There's not really many functions going on with the mirror, but it, it is a mirror and it does the job well. It's pretty easy to adjust and it actually feels, doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart like most mirrors do. And then of course you got your microphones up here for the All-Star. On the dome light, you have your option to turn the light off, obviously when the door is open, or if you just want the light on entirely, that's up to you. But let's go ahead and see what that back seat has to offer. In the back of the Chevy Colorado, you actually have a lot of leg room and a lot of headroom. And I'm about 5'8". This is in my default driving position. I do feel that taller people might have a tougher time back here, but besides that, I really like the bolsters. The bolsters are super comfortable back here because the backs of these seats actually don't fold. They stay fixed to the back of the body. So you're getting some extremely comfortable seats. The one thing that's a little annoying is that you can't recline these. These are just fixed in place and that is how it is. Down here you have your speaker and you even have a pretty deep bottle pocket. It's large enough to carry like a bottle of Dasani or something like that, but nothing that much bigger. Over here we have the same plastics that were present in the front, that same one touch down and having to pull it back up manually still exists back here as well. We have the same kind of cup holder arrangement that exists in the front, and this pocket is big enough to hold a phablet-sized phone once again. You even have your own AC vents that are tied to the ones up front there. Over here, you can see kind of a blank area where presumably a household power outlet would be installed on a higher trim level, but you don't get that on this work truck. Another thing you don't get is uh, door pockets. They really made sure that this vehicle was gonna be affordable. And so to do that, they had to cut the cost in some other minor areas that the driver is ultimately not gonna care about. And that's what I love about work trucks. They're so insanely basic and they cost cut in the silliest places so that they can splurge in the nicer places. Like for example, I'm perfectly comfortable in this seat. The screen is massive. It's a very enjoyable place to be back here. Of course, you have your grab handles back here as well. They feel very connected. And of course they got that nice dampening to them. Those they did not cost cut on. And I think that that's a really nice feature. Now, as far as practicality goes, there's a little lever here on the side of the seat that will flip this part up. And down here, we have like a little bit of extra storage stuff. We have some repair kits and things down here that you can use. And we have an extra bracket that's included, just some basic stuff and it makes it extra practical. So if you wanna put like boxes back here, you can absolutely do that as well. And of course, these headrests fold as well if you wanna fit even more items back here or if you wanna just get that extra good visibility out your rear view mirror. And speaking of headrests, one thing I find really funny is how small this headrest is. I can put my entire hand on this, arm, on this little headrest. This, is, this, ha this has to be the smallest headrest I have ever seen in a production car ever. It is really, really comical. But let's see if it works by testing out the middle seat. Here in the middle seat, you actually have a lot of room. I feel like I could ride on this on a mediocre sized trip, which is surprising to say because this is not a full size truck. You have a little bit of a hump right here, which means your legs pretty much have to divert into the other two footwells. But Overall, it's not a bad experience because you're right in front of the air vents and that's not a bad thing either. But as far as the headrest goes, it does nothing. It, it doesn't even adjust up and down. So that headrest is largely pointless, but I'm assuming it's for some kind of federal regulation. And I think that that's absolutely hilarious. Under the hood of the 2023 Chevrolet Colorado work truck, we have a 2.7 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine with the upgraded 310 horsepower at 5,600 RPMs and 391 pound-feet of torque at 2,000 RPMs. And 
This engine is even paired with the eight-speed automatic transmission for super smooth shifting. This Colorado is rated for 18 miles per gallon in the city and 23 miles per gallon on the highway, averaging out to about 20 miles per gallon. To start the 2023 Chevrolet Colorado, just make sure you have the key in your pocket, hit the brake, and hit the start engine stop button to turn it on. Driving the 2023 Chevrolet Colorado work truck. Just from pulling out and getting on the road, this thing has a lot of get up and go. It is very, very jumpy. And I think that's because of its eight speed automatic transmission. But that's the first thing I noticed right from the get go. Going over some of these rougher bumps, it actually handles them like a champ. So the steering feels a little numb, but it's pretty quick. It's, it's pretty quick steering. And I feel like I have no problem predicting where this vehicle is going. It definitely drives like a smaller truck. I like how you can rest your arm on the armrest and put your hand here. It's a really nice cruising position. I really also appreciate the big bolsters on the seats. These are actually pretty comfortable seats given that this is just a base level work truck. The one thing I do wish we had is regular dials in addition to the digital speedometer, but that's a small trade-off given that you have all this other digital information up here. The lane keep assist is pretty easy to turn on. Just hit this little button right here. Uh, the transmission shifter is in a pretty good place. Uh, the climate controls are fantastic, especially on this base model. I love how you can just adjust them and they just work. It's really nice. This thing really does glide down the road. Like, it handles these bumps with relative ease. It, it has pretty soft suspension. You're definitely getting a smooth ride in this Chevrolet Colorado as we drive over some rough roads here. The big 11.3 inch screen is not too much of a distraction while you're driving. Again, those headlight adjustments might become annoying, but the fact that they put it at the top of the screen means you can just rest your hand right here and adjust it like so, and I don't think that's too bad. I'm actually gonna hit the brakes really hard right here. The brakes are not the hardest I've ever felt, but they're not bad either. Throttle response is honestly almost instantaneous. The throttle response works fantastically. Let's do the iconic three-point turn test. It's pretty easy to turn around with the steering wheel on this vehicle. Again, it's light and quick, and I really, really appreciate how easy it is. We're gonna do a quickie acceleration here. Nothing too crazy. Just getting, just edging it up to the speed limit. And as you can see there, it gets you to the speed limit with relative ease. I drove the previous generation Chevrolet Colorado, and this thing definitely handles a lot better. This thing, it definitely doesn't feel like you're going to lose balance in this vehicle at all. In the last one, you feel like you could tip over a little bit. This one, that feeling is no longer, and I really, really like the drive. Visibility is absolutely fantastic, even with that those little hood bumps right there. I think that they did a great job with that. Rear visibility is fantastic. And of course, one of my favorite parts about having a pickup truck is having that pretty much 360 degree visibility. I think that it's really awesome. So I do highly recommend this as a midsize truck. It drives fantastic for what it is. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and back to the dealership and come to a final verdict on this 2023 Chevrolet Colorado work truck and why you guys should ultimately buy one as it's great. The 2023 Chevrolet Colorado is a pretty powerful base level work truck. It's got some technology that you wouldn't expect to see on this low of a trim level, and it has that performance to top it all off. Not to mention, it has some excellent safety features. It skimps out in some other places, but it exceeds in others. And with that in mind, I highly recommend the 2023 Chevrolet Colorado work truck as your next midsize truck. And you can even get some pretty good modifications done to this vehicle if you want to as well. And with that in mind, this has been another transportation video. I hope all of you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video and drive safe.